Welcome. In front of me, I have the Soyo Mini PC, and this is the M4 Pro. And I'll be going over unboxing and the quick look at the device itself. Okay, uh, now there's not much information on the box right here uh, about the device itself, so I already did look it up. And uh, this is the M4 Pro with 16 gigs of RAM and half a terabyte of storage, uh, but it also comes with a Intel Twin Lake N150 processor that turbos, I don't think it actually turbos, but it runs up to 3.6 gigahertz. It has a dual 4K output HDMI and comes with Windows 11 Pro apparently. This is at least what AliExpress is saying. Just open it up. Come on. There we go. Well, it's a very small little device. There we go. It is designed to uh, to be very low power. Now the I.O. at the back is actually pretty decent. We have dual USB-C's, uh, we have HDMI, two HDMI ports, we have a uh, Ethernet port and two USB-A ports along with the barrel uh, power, along with also the vents right here. Oh, and two more USB uh, 3.0 at the front with a headphone jack. And just to kind of put that in perspective, I'm going to bring out a 3.6 inch uh, device, a Samsung S25, as a comparison to the size. So you can see this is relatively small in size. Now, anyway, below here we have something. So we have a little mount for mounting this to the, I presume, back of the monitor. Okay, so we have like two thread, threaded holes in here. So I would assume these would fit to one of those. And then obviously we have our barrel plug charger for the device itself and manual. Yep, user manual and that's it. So, uh, I do not know if this is actually running Windows 11 or not, it doesn't really state it everywhere uh, or anywhere, uh, but on AliExpress at least it does say that it's running Windows 11. So, there we go, that's about it. Now, I do want to also point out one thing, uh, the processor in here, the Inter Twin Lake N150, it is supposedly a low power processor. Info about it in terms of uh, power consumption. Maybe do a control F two P. Oh, there we go. So this goes up to um, apparently 10 watts. So it is actually a well, low power processor. Now the reason I'm pointing that out is because I, at least where I live, I can go to Allegro, which is one of the websites that we have right here. And uh, one of the devices that is being sold is, being, is the HP T630 uh, Think Client, which is also a. Actually, no, wait, no, not this one, sorry. My bad. Uh, so it's the HP Elite Desk 800 G3 Tiny. And it comes with an Intel i5 7500T, uh, which also 16 gigs of RAM. And it's an uh, i5 processor, so it's more of a desktop processor, which is also a low power one, and the device costs a little bit less, but it doesn't cost much less than this, just to kind of give you an example. So this is selling, it's like second hand at all, right? Yep, so it's a second hand one, 16 gigs of RAM, 256 storage for 400 PLN, which equates to about a uh, hundred dollars this is about a hundred and forty so forty more dollars and it comes with uh, basically double the storage and a more power efficient processor that runs up to 10 watts instead of the 35 so if you want something that is constantly on running in the background maybe plug in like two 
SSD, USB, some like hard drives on here and have like a pseudo um, server almost. This could probably work a little bit better. Um, and uh, if you want something cheaper, you could possibly look for the, like I said, the uh, HP, uh, the HP Elite Desk 800 G3 Tiny. Uh, it will be cheaper uh, and processor is very close it's actually this one will be a bit faster so it really depends if you want something that is either faster uh, or cheaper for if you don't mind spending about 40 bucks more I would probably recommend going for something with this processor in here as it's going to be just a little bit better not by much but the power consumption is smaller but significantly smaller it's basically more than a third of what the i5 consumes and the IO on here is actually just pretty good considering the absolute minuscule size of this. So yeah, anyway, basically sums it up. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.